Hey everyone, Technoment here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the SIM card and activate your iPhone 6S Plus for the very first time. So let's get started. So this is a beginner's guide on setting up an iPhone if you haven't used it or if you're not quite sure. First thing you want to do is insert your SIM card if you're going to be using your SIM card. You can take a SIM ejector tool that should have come with the phone. Now if that piece isn't available for you, you can also take a simple paper clip or earring piece to be able to just simply put it in there to pop out that SIM card tray. Now once you popped out that SIM card tray, just go ahead and take your SIM card from either your old phone or if you got a new one from your carrier, you know, lay it flat to match up that cut corner just like that and it should sit flush like that. From there on, we're going to go ahead and insert it by matching up the hole and then slide it in and it should sit flush like that. Once so you have done that, we're going to go ahead and power on the iPhone by pressing and holding onto that power button until you see the Apple logo. This is indicating that the phone is turning on for the very first time. And once it turns on, we'll be able to set it up. Now, if it doesn't power on right away, sometimes the phone does need to be charged. So go ahead and charge it with the charging cable so you can get some power. And it happens with any device. Now, once you got there, we're going to be able to go ahead and set it up. First thing you should see whenever you do this is you're going to press that home button to get to the screen and select your language, country or region, and then click on setup manually. So click on that and then you need to connect to either the Wi-Fi or if you don't have Wi-Fi you have to use a MacBook or PC basically that has a network on it. So I already have a network here so I'm going to go ahead and enter my password for that Wi-Fi here. Now then click on join and you need to go ahead and join to a Wi-Fi and then the activation of the phone will happen. Basically this goes out to Apple server to make sure the phone uh, is able, able to be activated. So here it will take a moment or so to activate. It says a few minutes but generally doesn't. And then you can read through the data and privacy or just hit continue. Now if you want to use your touch ID because the 6S Plus does have a touch ID you can just lay your finger like that repeatedly until you can get the fingerprint or you can always come back and set it up later which I'll do here. So I'm not going to use it right now. These are all set up later as well if you want and then you want to put a passcode of course to secure it you can enter a six digit one or you can also have the option to do any of these other ones as well i'm simply not using it just because this demo but of course you want to go ahead and create a passcode now the next thing you want to consider is if you're moving your data from an older phone from icloud backup or pc you can do that you can also move data from android or if you choose not to move any of your data like photos videos apps over and simply start as new by selecting that. So whatever option you choose, just go through and follow that menu. The next thing is an Apple ID, which is important to use. Uh, you'll need an Apple ID in order to download apps, use Apple services. There's no way around this. So if you have an existing one, you're probably going to use that existing one, or you can create one which is completely free to do. You just simply click on it and select the option. And if you forgot your password, you can always reset it from a previous one. So whatever you choose, or you can always come back later to set it up, which I'll click over here. And then you can go into the settings later to set it up. But you'll need Apple ID to use iMessage, FaceTime, downloading apps, and all of that. Now, if you're going to keep your iPhone up to date, you just simply click continue. Again, this gives you the idea of what comes with your iPhone, which is iMessage and FaceTime. So we're just going to hit continue here. If you want location services to be turned on so they can use it for maps and other apps and services, just hit enable. And then Siri, which is a voice assistant uh, on the iPhone, you want to click on continue, select a voice, and then from there on, you want to say these commands if you want to use Siri. And if you don't want to use Siri or you want to set it up later, you can always select set up later and then hit continue. Uh, if you want to share your audio recording with Apple to improve their decision, you can do that. I simply choose not to, but up to you. Screen time, it gives you a weekly report basically if you want to use that. You can hit continue to use it or simply set up later. iPhone analytics, if you want to share your analytics with Apple so they can improve their product, you can do that or you can choose not to. Again, up to you. And then with most phones, as you know, you can use a light mode or dark mode. So I'll keep it as light. If you need a zoom version, maybe bigger text, you might consider using a zoom option for bigger text to display. I'll leave it as standard. And then finally, once you get to that welcome to iPhone, you get started. That means we have now successfully set up our SIM card and you should see your service up here. 
and activated it and your phone is good to go keep in mind if you haven't signed into your apple id you can do it over here just click on it again this menu pops up where you can sign into existing one or create one so that you can use your iphone and the other services like iMessage and be able to download apps from the app store and all of that and i hope this video was helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices see you guys next time